Starting a business may seem daunting, but it's actually a step-by-step -step process that can be more manageable if you follow the right steps. In this video, we will introduce the step-by-step -step castle method of building a business, specifically designed for beginners. By following the first two steps of this method, you will be able to create a working minimum viable product in under two hours. We will go through each step of the castle method using a template that is available for free. Step 1. Conceptualize. To illustrate this step, let's meet Cedric, an 18-year-old who wants to start his own business. The first step is ideation, coming up with at least 10 business ideas and identifying the best ones. Cedric generates ideas based on his interests, market research, and problem-solving potential. He combines what the market wants, what he could excel in, and what he enjoys. Focusing on the problem he can solve for customers is crucial. Cedric decides to start a business selling custom wands, combining his interest in wand lore and the market demand for unique wands. Step 2. Assemble your minimum viable product. Many people make the mistake of thinking they need to spend months or even years building a product before launching their business. However, the Castle Method suggests starting with a minimum viable product, MVP, that focuses on lead generation. Cedric and other entrepreneurs should create a simple MVP that offers something of value for free to generate leads. For example, Cedric could create a free webinar on wand making techniques or offer a scorecard to help customers find their perfect wand match. The objective is to validate the business idea and generate leads. Step 3. Sell your minimum viable product. Once you have generated leads through your MVP, it's time to sell your product or service. This step involves converting leads into paying customers. Cedric can offer his custom wands to the customers who showed interest through the scorecard or webinar. The key is to provide value and build trust with your customers. Utilize effective sales strategies, such as personalized follow-ups and incentives, to encourage customers to make a purchase. Step 4. Transition to scaling. After successfully selling your product or service, the next step is to transition to scaling your business. This involves expanding your customer base, increasing sales, and optimizing operations. Cedric can focus on marketing and advertising to reach a wider audience as well as refining his production process to meet the growing demand for his custom wands. It's important to continuously analyze and adapt your business strategy to ensure sustainable growth. Step 5. Evaluate and Evolve The final step in the Castle Method is to evaluate your business and make necessary adjustments. Regularly assess your business performance, customer feedback, and market trends to identify areas of improvement. Cedric can gather feedback from his customers and make changes to his product or service based on their preferences. By constantly evolving and adapting, you can stay ahead in the competitive business landscape. Starting a business doesn't have to be an overwhelming task. By following the castle method, you can break it down into manageable steps. Conceptualize your business idea, assemble a minimum viable product to generate leads, sell your product or service transition to scaling, and continuously evaluate and evolve your business. Remember, starting a business is a journey, and it requires dedication, perseverance, and a willingness to learn and adapt. So, if you're ready to take the leap, follow these steps and embark on your entrepreneurial adventure.